Hello everybody, welcome back. Oh, it's me again. My name is Zonkoku and I am continuing on showing you my wonderful media empire, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, let's get on with where we were last time. We, we, we uh, ended with the Izumi 1 and Izumi 2. This one is Bangkok Haunted. Bangkok Haunted is another anthology, uh, horror anthology. This one is a Thai movie. And so uh, uh, a few t tales of scary, ghostly occurrences. So anyway, so that's that. Let's go on now, a more contemporary type of movie. Uh, Basic Instinct, Sharon Stone, Michael Douglas. Uh, lots of sex and nudity and lots of graphic violence because it's a Paul Verhoeven film. Come on, if you have a Paul Verhoeven film, you can count on, a, on several things. Nudity. And graphic violence. Not to mention a pretty good story. I like the story of this a lot. Uh, murder, mystery, anyways. And of course, Beaver. Come on. Beaver, people. Beaver. <laughs> I can't show that scene on my YouTube channel because, not, be, copyright aside, I would just get destroyed. Unless YouTube was making money off of me. If they were making money off of this, they, they let me get away with everything. Because they let anyone get away with anything as long as they're making enough money off of it. Next one, Battlefield Baseball. Battlefield Baseball, the Japanese answer to Shaolin Soccer, maybe? I don't know, but this is a, a, a messed up, batshit crazy Japanese film about uh, a baseball team going against a baseball team of demons and hellions and a baseball game to the death, really. It's, 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 it's messed up. It's insane. It's quintessential Japanese craziness, and I love it, man. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Next one is Battle Girl. The Living Dead in Tokyo Bay. It's a weird zombie movie uh, featuring a, uh, a wrestler, a famous uh, woman, women wrestler who plays the lead role of Battle Girl. And uh, it's it's okay. It's got some pretty good violence in there. Uh, it's just it's w one of those quintessential Japanese what the movies, man. Just, <laughs> but anyway. So there you got that one. And then the next two are well, the the first one is absolute masterpiece. The second one is shit. But anyways, Battle Royale and Battle Royale Two, Battle Royale must watch movie. Uh, it is absolutely a masterpiece. Probably one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a Japanese movie. Uh, Quentin Tarantino said it was the best movie in the last 20 years. Of course, I think he said that back in 2000, but it's probably the best movie in the last 30 years, too, because this movie is great. It's about uh, the future. Everything gets uh, messed up. Uh, juvenile delinquency is just through the roof, and so the Japanese uh, enact the Battle Royale Act, and uh, one class is picked out, uh, and that class has to uh, fight each other to the death. Now, if you're thinking Hunger Games, fuck you, okay? Because this is before the Hunger Games. This is, the Hunger Games wished it was anywhere close to this. It's violent, it's, it's, it's thoughtful, it's funny at times, it's, it's the whole package. It makes you think it's a deep movie, and it's it's really great. And Battle Royale 2 is a shameless uh, attempt to cash in on the success of Battle Royale, and is kind of crap. Uh, deals with terrorism and stupidity. But this this awesome. This not so much. This oh I, I I go out and watch it. It was on Netflix for a while. I don't know if it still is. Watch this film. It's awesome. This yeah. <laughs> All right, next one, as I uh, re rearrange this back to alphabetical order, is uh, Be Cool, the, the uh, what is this, sequel to Get Shorty, I think? Anyways, uh, John Travolta, Uma Thurman. I got it for cheap, so I got it. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun, it's a fun movie. Uh, the, you know, the original Get Shorty was definitely better, but this one, good enough. It's in there. The next one is A Better Tomorrow, 
two DVD box set, so it's basically a Better Tomorrow and a Better Tomorrow 2. Uh, Chinese action flicks, violence, John Woo, and of course Chow Yun Fat, the great Chow Yun Fat. Uh, just a great action cop drama type films. And uh, they did a remake. I think, was it a Korean remake of this? I don't know. There was, there's a remake that was made just a few years ago or, or a year ago that's out there. But this is, this is the original stuff here. So, in a two-pack. That's pretty awesome. Next, we're going to, oh yes, Italian horror. Finally, we're getting to some Italian horror here. And we have The Beyond, also known as The Seven Doors of Death. And this one is by gore master Lucio Fulci, or Lucio Fulci, or I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not Italian. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, this one is, is probably got some of the best uh, gore effects of Fulci's movies. Uh, Head Explosion was awesome in this movie. Uh, it's about uh, this, this woman inherits a... a, a kind of like an inn in Louisiana, but it also is uh, built on one of the seven doors to hell. And uh, they accidentally open it and get to, you know, look in through the sea of darkness and all that stuff. And just a, gr you know, great zombie movie. Uh, pretty cool. Kind of a zombie mystery movie in a way. Uh, the next one we've got Black Angel 1 and Black Angel 2. Uh, if you ever heard of Zero Woman, I think I think it's Zero Woman. A kind of a similar thing, a sort of a crime revenge flicks, uh, starring the Black Angel. And oh, oh, look at that! We're gonna we're gonna have to bring it in pretty soon. So, anyways, uh, gunplay, sex, nudity, all that great stuff. Speaking of sex and nudity, the last one for today is Blood. And this one is a contemporary uh, Japanese vampire story, uh, cop story also, about a guy investigating a crime, and he's led to uh, a vampire, and uh, I guess she turned a, a samurai, or, or whatever, a swordsman from the past, who is now an uncontrollable monster, and he must battle him. And so anyways, it's a interesting movie that they call it they call it an, an erotic vampire film because yeah there's there's a lot of sex and nudity in this one but there's also some violence and a kind of interesting story so that's it for for right now uh tune in next time as i continue on with my collection this is probably going to end up being like a thousand videos but i don't freaking care because i'm just reintroducing myself to you guys again and if any of you want to uh, have me to review anything, even if you don't see it here, you just say, hey, I'm wondering how you'd like this movie. I'll try to do it because, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's what I'm here for. I love making videos and I want to make videos. And Oh my goodness, October is on its way. People who know me know what that means. Anyways, I am out. Yeah.